Now we're going to go into our incubation room, and this is a, uh, you know, this is a stage now where the eggs have uh, they're post-eyed, what we call the eyed egg stage, and they're they're now hatching out. So the, now we have alevins in our heath trays, and they haven't been fed yet. They haven't received any feed. They're still at the developmental stage uh, where they st where they have about half of their yolk sac, and we'll have a have a view of the of the alevins. And we try to keep them as clean as we can. The little white pieces are are uh, actually uh, pieces of dead eggs, that, the ones that didn't hatch. And we're very careful to try to keep these as clean as we can. But you do see a few little pieces of, of white particles in there. Constant flow of water. Water is uh, 22 liters a minute, constant flow, 24 hours a day. If the water goes off, we are, uh, we're in big trouble. You can see the effect of the chiller up, up here as it comes comes in, it comes into our sacks at 8.2 degrees right now, and it varies a little bit with the day. It's been, uh, we've had high temperatures of 35 degrees Celsius recently, so right now it's, it's creeping up a little bit. We have a very significant underground spring. It's not a, it's not a dramatic spring where it's bubbling out of the ground and you can take a, take a dramatic picture of it. It kind of seeps up, gathers in, the, in, a, in a creek, you can see that's the, that's the hatchery water supply right there. It's 11 degrees Celsius, as I said before. It's beautiful water. It's quite hard, has lots of calcium in it. Interesting thing about uh, uh, trout and, and fish in general, they, they absorb, they can either absorb their, their calcium from the water or, or they can get it from the feed. But this, this uh, water has sufficient calcium that they actually get it from the water, so it's, uh, it's ideal for rearing trout. It's beautiful, beautiful water. It's been flowing here for thousands and thousands of years. So really a lot of people think the hatchery is located where it is because of the, because of the lake. It's actually because of the spring. And this has to be the largest spring in the Okanagan area. It's wonderful stuff. And we captured here, and then we pipe it underground to the hatchery from this location.